Some say California has no seasons, but locals know better. When our seasonal rains arrive, the hills turn green and many creatures respond. Whether flying through the air or emerging at last from the ground, winter here is an exciting time full of life. For those willing to brave the cold, there are many winter wonders to discover. Among the most avid observers of winter nature are birders. Alex Cho and his family belong to a number of local bird watching groups. Is that a golden eye? This morning, they're exploring Coyote Hills Regional Park in Fremont. Yeah, that looks like a golden eye. The time of year really matters. There is still a lot to see here in winter. A lot of ducks and waterfowl are coming through. Whoa, is that a Eurasian widgeon? Mm hmm. Here. Yep. Oh, there he is. First, I started birding, and then my mom started birding very shortly after. And then my dad would take us to go look at birds, and eventually he became a birder too. Oh, it's very contagious. <laughs> yep. That's a yellow throat. I'm actively involved in the Heron and Egret Project, the Bluebird Recovery Program, and I'm also a member of Mount Diablo Audubon Society, Ohlone Audubon Society, and LA Birders as well. I use a program called eBird, and eBird is a worldwide program that allows people to document their sightings. You go out in the field and it'll track your steps, uh, track where you are, and you can document all the birds you've seen. And that data gets sent to scientists for research into migration patterns, locations, maybe any movements, what's still there, what's not there anymore. In addition to constant use of eBird to report sightings, Alex connects with both amateur and professional birders online through webinars. He recently had the chance to introduce a role model of his, Alvaro Jaramillo. Alvaro has been birding since he was 11 years old when he found a pair of binoculars and a field guide. Please welcome Alvaro Jaramillo. Thank you, Alex. Really, thank you. Alvaro is a great birder. He has taught me so much over his webinars. You know, this is a, a good flock in Half Moon Bay, one of the good days when there's tons to look at. Though a longtime biologist with San Francisco Bay Bird Observatory, Alvaro also considers himself a professional birder. He guides bird watchers around the state and internationally through his tour company, Alvaro's Adventures. There's plenty to see on the trail to Cowell Ranch Beach in Half Moon Bay. If you're starting out as a nature watcher or a birder, winter's the time to start because there's so much to see. It's really sort of the boom, <laughs> I would say. This is one of the most diverse places in, in the US for birds, California. A few sparrows, probably white-crowned and golden-crowned sparrows that are mixed in there with the blackbirds. White-crowned sparrows, we have a resident group and also migrants. These are probably migrants from British Columbia down to about Oregon. And there, there was also a song sparrow that was popping up lower down. And he has a little dark spot right on the middle of the breast and kind of a rusty look to his back. That is a golden crown. They breed up in Alaska, the Yukon. So they're all migrants. You won't see golden crown sparrows here in summer. It's nice to sort of have these visitors and think that they're breeding in places way up north and yet they choose to come down here to our backyards. We tend to think of birds singing in the spring, you know, and in the summer during the breeding season. And actually they start singing in winter and as days start getting longer after December, you start getting more songs. So they're really attuned to the changes in the daylight and also the weather. 
and the ocean here. And a lot of western grebes, which are interior breeding species, breed throughout the west. But in winter, they come down here. And there are hundreds right now out here. Brown pelicans flying by. When the food is best to the south is in that winter spring period. They match the food abundance and they move north and south with it. They know what they're doing. <laughs> uh, raptors, or hawks and eagles and falcons, do migrate south in the fall and actually build up in numbers in the winter. We have more raptors around here in the Bay Area in winter than we do in summer. White-tailed kites do this hovering more properly. They call it kiting behavior. They sit like this, flying over a spot because they're focused right below them. There's something going on. It's usually a rodent getting a little closer, a little closer until they can get their prey. While the harrier, northern harrier, is much more actively flying around close to the ground with the white at the base of the tail, the rump. And it also not only looks for food, it, it hears it like an owl and then pounces on the food. And we also saw the sit and wait predator, the red-shouldered hawk, sitting on a shrub. And they wait, and then they pounce. All the raptors. Winter can be a time where there's the biggest numbers of birds, you know, with the geese and the ducks. Just abundance in the bayside in particular. Meeting uh, Alex Cho has been really great for multiple reasons. One is that it is particularly important to me to encourage young people in birding. There's still a wide variety you see here in winter. Avocets have started to turn into their white and gray uh, winter plumage instead of their brown and white breeding plumage. They're so fun to see. They usually get fairly close to shore so you can get some good views. So that's a snowy egret. Looks actually quite similar to the great egret. And the great egret are definitely bigger than the snowy egret. So that was a yellow rumped warbler. These warblers stay around here in the winter time and they're aptly named for their yellow throat, uh, yellow patches on the wings, and their yellow rump, of course. <laughs> The value is really about tracking birds and going out to see if patterns have changed, if birds have started going a bit more north, possibly due to climate change. That's a big issue. Oh, there it is. Other than the tracking and conservation, it's really just all about going out and birding during different times of the year, seeing what you can see. I love all aspects of birding, but it's just being out in the field and watching them, that's my favorite part. I've come to love the winter season.